Today we are talking about the five condos in Marathon that have the best dockage. Welcome back everybody. My name is Amy, a local realtor here in the Florida Keys. If you're looking to buy or sell or just have questions about living down here, give us a call. We'd be happy to answer them. Email us too. Just get a hold of us. Now today we are going to talk about the five condos that we think have the best dockage here in Marathon. We came up with some criteria to judge these and some of the things we thought about were if they were the ownership of the docks, if they were deeded or assigned, the location of the docks, the amenities that they have, um, the, what else, <laughs> let me look at my list. I say? Uh, the storage and dock facilities, dock ownership, amenities, boat size. So that was the list that we used to, um, to kind of rate the condos here. So the first one on our list is Indigo Reef and Indigo Reef is like a luxury townhome community here at Marathon. Uh, they have one of the best locations, prime locations for boating down here because they are situated close to the Vaca Cut. Now the Vaca Cut is a basically a passageway where you could get from the golf side to the ocean and a lot of boaters want to be close to that because depending on the wind um, they're going to decide if they want to be on the golf one day or if they want to be on the ocean. At Indigo Reef you're going to get a 35 foot slip and the slips are deeded. Now you can only have a 31 foot vessel max because of the HOA rules. The docks over there are made out of track, so they're really in good condition, great cat craftsmanship, they're not falling apart at all. They have water and electric also nearby, fish cleaning stations, and you're allowed to have a dock box right there as well. Indigo also has a huge pool, one of the biggest I've seen here in Marathon, and after days of fishing, you can just jump right into that pool and cool off. So we picked Indigo because of its location, prime location to the vodka cut, lots of amenities, the water and the electric, and that the docks are deeded. Next up on our list is Treasure K. So Treasure K is over by Coco Plum, and the canals over at Coco Plum are huge. They're like 200 feet wide, so navigating those canals is quite easy. Plus, you're located close to the vodka cut again, so you're gonna have easy access to the ocean and the golf. So excellent boating over there. Now at Treasure K, you get a, um, a slip. It's 35 feet long, and you can put a boat lift if you want. Actually, most of them have boat lifts. The slips are not deeded, they are assigned, but the best part is they have enough slips for every owner, so you don't have to worry uh, about not getting a slip, no waiting lists, anything like that. You know, you have your unit and you have your slip. You can also see your slip right outside your condo unit, which is really fantastic as well. Next up on the list is Coral Lagoon. So Coral Lagoon is a townhome community. I believe there's like 16 units there. And they sit right next to Coral Lagoon Marina. The water there is super deep and you can get um, a couple different size slips if you want. There's a 40 foot, you can get a 50 foot slip. Uh, you have some options. Now please note that you do have a separate HOA fee for the dock because there's they're two different associations. So you're gonna have a little extra cost um, over there at Coral Lagoon. And they have, you know, water and electric nearby, a fish cleaning station, again, all the top things that you want. And um, I don't know, did I already mention that it's close to Vodka Cut because it is super close to Vodka Cut. So you're gonna be able to navigate to the Gulf and the ocean whenever you feel like it. Our last one on the list is the Harbor House, and that is over, uh, located over by the uh, Buki Harbor. So you're actually looking over the harbor, um, your condo unit is, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Super deep water. Uh, this is now going to be by the Seven Mile Bridge if you want to go to the golf side. Um, so you go through the Buki Harbor, go down Sisters Creek, and then you can get in, out to the ocean or you can go over to the golf. 
So really fantastic deep water boating over there. You get um, an assigned slip, uh, slip and they're 30 feet long. Again, they have a fish cleaning station. When you are in your condo, you can see your slip, you can overlook at it. And um, it's a really great property. They also have a pool so you can cool down. So Harbor House is number five and all list for fantastic dockage here in Marathon. All right, that's it. Those are our five top picks for condos. They have the best dockage here in Marathon, Florida. If you guys have any questions about any of those places or anything else that we talk about here, feel free to call us anytime. Amy and Tom, we're over at Coldwell Banker. We'll see you next time. Bye.